In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the Zenif eToken app. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. Using the Zenif eToken application is super simple. The process to set it up and start generating 1TPs to manage any transactions that are made through your Zenif bank account can be done through the app that you can find on the Play Store or the App Store. The process is super quick and you can choose between different methods to approve any transactions that you make on your Zenif bank account. First, make sure that alongside the Zenif Bank mobile app, you download the Zenif Bank eToken app. You will notice that they are different applications, so it's important that you open the Play Store or the App Store and you download this application under the same name, Zenif Bank eToken. When you first open it up, what you are going to see is this home screen welcoming you. Tap continue and now you can choose to register as an individual or a corporate user. The process is mostly the same across these two types, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you want to use the Zenith eToken application as an individual. When you choose that option, you can register to get eTokens to approve any transactions made through your account using a hardware token, debit card, or quick access. Regardless of which option you pick, you will be able to set up the eTokens and attribute them to your account. First, if you select to register using hardware token, you have to input your account number and then a PIN plus a token. Like I said, after you are done, just tap continue and OTPs are going to be generated anytime you need to approve a transaction or manage your Zenith bank account. If you choose debit card, as the name implies, you will have to register using your account number and then the last six digits of your debit card and the debit card pin. Once again, tap continue and everything will be ready to go. For the last method, quick access, you are going to have to visit the nearest Zenith Bank branch. In there, you have to fill out a form and you will be granted an activation code that you can use to attribute eToken to your account. As you can see, you will have to input the serial number, the actual activation code, and then your user ID after you are done filling out the form at the Zenith Bank branch. By doing this process and choosing any of these three distinct methods, you will be able to generate OTPs whenever you open up the app. These will be used to approve and manage your Zenith Bank account, so keep that in mind. Every time you open up the app, a new code will be generated and you can generate new ones as needed. I hope I was able to help you on how to use the Zenith eToken app. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.